Well, welcome to week six of COM233. Thank you guys for hanging in there, and I hope you all are washing your hands and maintaining social distancing. It works, all right? So this is kind of a fun week. It's a little bit of a departure. We're actually kind of talking about real estate, right? We're talking about housing and houses and building materials and how they're different from culture to culture. Also talking about shopping, how that's different from culture to culture, and, and how these things kind of impact our ability to communicate with each other and, our, our, and the ways we judge each other, all right? So uh, as usual, we have a discussion, uh, discussion 10. You have a learning journal and you have a, uh, the quiz, again, about key concepts from the chapter. I think that's the last quiz in the, in the class, all right? I'm just hoping that you learn some stuff specifically from the chapters that that you'll kind of keep in your head. It's that kind of a quiz, all right? Uh, so uh, let me talk to you a little bit about um, my own experiences with with uh, culture and building and building materials. I've uh, spent a lot of time in Central America and lived uh, for weeks at a time in some really rough stuff, okay? I've lived in uh, bamboo huts with thatched roofs, all right? I've lived in the mud. I've used uh, uh, terrible latrines where the pigs are in there with you too, okay? And, and I've kind of seen some stuff that, that's disconcerting. At the same time, the people themselves were lovely people, all right? Uh, they weren't ignorant. They weren't stupid. Uh, they didn't live like that because they were stupid. It's, it's, that's, that's, that was their culture. They lived in the woods. They lived in the jungle, all right? And, and these were uh, Mexicans of, of Indian descent, all right? And then been kind of chased around some too by the military, so so they didn't have a lot of time to build. You know, they didn't have a culture where they were building cities and that kind of thing. And don't forget, in the Middle Ages, when when people started to build cities and stuff, they were extremely unsanitary. And and the plague, which is very similar to what we have today, they didn't have any social distancing. Okay, they they died. All right, and and the sewers were in the streets, and and cities didn't change the way cultures handled sanitation. All right, they still did it. Extremely poor job. Uh, people, uh, uh, England, uh, uh, English people wore woolen clothing year round. They sweated. They didn't take baths, and yet they thought they were civilized. You know, they created democracy and constitutions, all that kind of stuff. And yet they still had terrible hygiene, and 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 terrible attitudes towards medicine, and terrible attitudes towards sanitation. So you can't judge people entirely on the way they they live. It's it's not fair. It doesn't you know. It's, like judging a book by its cover, you can't really do that. All right. Uh, so I've had some fun experiences recently. Uh, my wife and I went out to New Mexico, and on the advice of some friends, we went to visit Taos, which is a beautiful Pueblo community. And the way the Native Americans made Pueblos was extremely interesting and, and very, very beautiful and very different than the way you know Westerners came through. You know, first contact with Native Americans and met these people. So very, very different. Now in mod and and they built, of course, their pueblos out of local local products, and they didn't tear down all the trees to do it. All right, they used mud and and small trees and that kind of thing. Uh, but what was also interesting is there was a very modern community nearby, out on this big, huge plateau with the mountains in the background, gorgeous, and that's featured in this one of these particular um, videos here called Green Citadels. All right, and they were called Earthships. And beautiful houses made out of, out of rubber tires, okay, out of recycled material, and they were they were really strange. They were adobe in nature, but they took these tires and they packed earth in them. All right, so so they packed so much earth in them that they became like solid blocks. All right, and then they could stack them in all kinds of really what we'd call bizarre shapes, and then they would cover them with mud that would dry. And so they built houses with walls this thick, so they hardly needed any energy to keep them warm and warm in the winter or cool in the summer, all right? This is New Mexico. It gets very cold in the winter, very hot in the summer, all right? And they could build really strange shapes because you could maneuver the tires, pile them up in different ways. And then on the interior walls, rather than using tires, they used glass bottles. They would recycle bottles. So they would stack these bottles up and then, and then cement them together this mud, but the structural strength came from the bottles. And if they wanted privacy between walls, they would cover the outside of the of the, the bottle so you couldn't see through the wall. But if they wanted light and color coming through, they didn't put mud on the outside. They they, they uh, just put mud between the bottles, okay? So these gorgeous houses, and they had thick earth roofs, okay? And, and it's very, very just interesting. These were modern people. And this is, but the people that designed these, that first promoted this concept, are taking it around the world and helping uh, indigenous communities, other communities, modern communities too, build new kinds of housing 
all right, that are out of recycled products and that use much less energy in general. And in this particular community in Taos, uh, New Mexico, totally off the grid, all right. They had internet, so they're somewhat on the grid, all right. But uh, no, no, they didn't need any electricity. They didn't need any outside water, that kind of thing, because they used solar and they recycled all their water, that kind of stuff. So very, very interesting. So your question becomes, well, how does this affect culture? Well, it is culture. Okay, the way you live, the structures that you live in, you know, they speak to your culture, okay? So uh, you'll need to think about that when you do learning journal number four, all right? I've already mentioned the quiz. It's the same. And then discussion 10, I'll, I'll tell you more about that this week. I'll get into discussion 10 myself. So, hey, I hope you enjoy this unit. I, I really enjoy reading your learning journals. I go through the quizzes quickly, make sure you just did them and got a little bit out of that, right? And I particularly enjoy your discussions, and I try to remember to come back in with my own videos. So, hey... Good luck this week. Hope you're enjoying class.